guys, Dr. Ezratel here from Juggernaut Training Systems and Renaissance Periodization. Continuing on with our kind of myth series for some common myths that you hear around training to get big and strong. I'm trying to bust a few of these up. To be honest, a lot of these have been hanging around for way too long and it's high time they took the, the high road out. So this one is a common sort of pearl of wisdom you hear. It turns out to be not so wise. I've heard it around gyms my entire life, heard it around people trained in my entire life, read it in magazines. People say there's no such thing as overtraining, just under eating. Okay. First point is this is false for sure, but there is a slight element of truth to it. So we're going to try to kind of delineate where the truth possibly lies and where maybe there are some falsehood that we should consider so we have a better understanding of what's going on. The truth is there's a good point in here. The recovery process, the ability to recover from training is malleable, it's alterable. If you get very little sleep, if you're not resting properly, you're way too stressed, if you're not eating enough food, if you're perhaps not supplementing properly, which is a very minor detail, but a detail nonetheless, then yes, you could be training harder, and yes, maybe overtraining or overreaching or something like that, you may be under recovering, and you do have the recovery held in your hands. So is there something to be said for under eating being a problem? Especially that under eating side, which is probably secondary to sleep for recovery, is there a point there? Yes, that if you are having trouble recovering, you should probably look to your recovery strategies first before you just assume, oh, I'm doing way too much work. And almost everyone can improve their recovery, especially the eating, to a significant extent. So that part of the myth has a bit of truth to it, and it's quite a bit of truth. However, this is a big point here, point number three. All physiological systems, all biological systems have tolerance limits. There is a certain amount of training you are simply not going to be able to recover from, even under ideal circumstances. Athletes can't train to infinity. If we're to stress the body with four two-hour sessions of hard exercise, hard training, hard sport training, weightlifting, etc., per day, under ideal circumstances, full rest, custom-made chef meals, let's even say all the drugs in the world, four training sessions a day, each one two hours long, how long do you think you could keep that up? Would you really go so far as to say it was just under eating? If you eat enough, well, eat 6,000, 7,000, 10,000 calories a day. After some time, the physical trauma your body system simply won't be able to recover from. So no, it's not in fact true that there is no such thing as overtraining, just under eating. Yes, there is such a thing as overtraining. Now, next question, are you overtraining? It's unlikely for the average viewer of a video like this. Why? Because you're probably involved in work, you have a real job, you're probably involved in school, family responsibilities, maybe you're not getting enough sleep all the time. Maybe your nutrition isn't ideal. And look, maybe you're training four, five, maybe six sessions, hard sessions per week. Are you overtraining from those actual workload sessions? Almost certainly not. What kind of people do we worry about overtraining? Usually athletes that are at a professional level or at a collegiate level that are involved in a formal sport training program and especially those training multiple times per day. So for example, you have an early morning track workout, PM weights, some mobility later, gymnasts have multiple daily workouts, weightlifters that train multiple times a day, people who combine several sports, hybrid athletes for example, folks trying to get stronger in the gym and faster on the track or more endurance, they're going to have multiple sessions a day, 8 to 12 sessions total per week. That's the kind of amount of training that really starts to hinder recovery, that really starts to push the boundaries even if your nutrition is good. So for most folks out there, training between 3 and 6 times per week, you're almost certainly not over training. But you could be under recovering. Take home point from this whole thing. If you are experiencing problems with recovering, Yes, there is a good gem of wisdom here. You should try to improve your nutrition. You should try to get more sleep. You should try to get more rest because almost certainly, for most folks involved in recreational or pretty serious lifting even, it's not that they're doing too much work. If they're having trouble recovering, it's probably because they can get better sleep, better food, better supplements. Look there first to try to make that improvement. However, it's real life. Maybe you work a very demanding job. Maybe your school schedule is very demanding. Maybe you have some life stressors, children, family, that you can't just remove, right? They're in your life. So maybe you can't have ideal recovery, and most of us can't. Now that you know you can't have ideal, if you're already doing your best on the recovery side and there's just some things you can't change, if your training is a certain set amount and it's a lot of training and you're under recovering, then you should definitely consider reducing your training volume. So this whole thing, there's no such thing as overtraining, just under eating. Yeah, if you've got your eating in check and you've got your recovery in check and you still can't recover with the way your lifestyle is, it's time to take a look at training. But the first thing you should do is take a look at your recovery. So recovery first, if you fix everything you reasonably can and you're still having trouble recovering, then it's time to back off of training.
So one of these myths turns out to be partially true, and we can take some good stuff away, but is there really such thing as overtraining, even under ideal circumstances? You bet. I wish it was opposite of that. I wish it was not the case. I love training. I could train all day long. The human body does have tolerance limits. Do your best. Do what works. Be honest with yourself. If you're not recovering properly and you've already checked everything, your nutrition is good, your diet is good, your training program design is good, and you're still not recovering, it might be time to back away from training. Thanks so much for tuning in. Dr. Otel here for Renaissance Periodization and Juggernaut Training Systems.